Okay, one more for today. So a relaxation for late pregnancy. You can use it in early pregnancy too. But I'm thinking of the energy in late pregnancy where everything can feel like it's too much. You are stretched to your limit. Not just your body, your mind, your nerves, everything feels stretched. And you don't think you can stretch anymore <clears throat> or deal with the feeling of stretching anymore because you're expanding, you know, you're changing. Um, yeah, and it's not very comfortable and it's not very nice <laughs> at times. So a visualization. So if you'd like to get yourself as comfy as you can, you can do this sitting, you can do it lying down. doesn't matter if you fall asleep during it. Um, yeah, hopefully the sound of my voice is just going <laughs> to make you feel nice and calm and relaxed. And if you fall asleep, hey, you obviously needed it. So feeling really comfortable. Just observing your breath. Feeling the air coming in. And the air going out. But it doesn't matter how you breathe. So you can breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. You can equally just breathe in and out of your nose or your mouth, whatever you find easiest and most calming. So just bringing an awareness to the breath without trying to speed it up, without trying to slow it down, just being with what is, being kind to yourself, no forcing your breath in any particular way or speed. Just be kind, be really, really gentle with yourself. You're doing a great job. This is hard, but you're doing it. So, relaxing into the nice breathing rhythm. And you might need to bring awareness to the rest of your body and how it's feeling. Most of us don't feel comfortable straight away when we lay down or rest. You might need to fidget about, you might need to get another pillow. Um, make yourself as comfortable as you can be. On your side, if you're in late pregnancy, not your back. And again, just think about your breathing. And notice the ease as the breath's coming in and the breath is going out. And you might like to imagine that the air coming in has a nice healing colour for you. It doesn't matter what the colour is. So breathe in that healing colour, the healing energy. And breathe out any discomfort that's in your body. So as you breathe in, you can feel the healing colour filling your whole body. And breathing out any discomfort. Just staying with that nice, easy breath that you don't have to do. Your breathing is just happening. Your body knows how to do it. Just in the same way as your body knows how to give birth to a baby and how to labour. So feeling the energy filling you and notice if there are any parts around your body that need a bit more healing, a bit more energy at this time. Feel this healing energy as love. Universal love coming in. Love for yourself. Love for your body. And love for your baby. Because as you breathe deeply, and your body relaxes and more oxygen surges through your body, 
more oxygen reaches your baby. It may even have a little bit more room to move and to wriggle about. So if baby's becoming active at this time, that's great. So imagining all this lovely healing light energy going into your lungs, through your veins and down to your baby through the placenta and to your baby and feel your baby receiving that energy and receiving that love and you may also notice baby sending back what it doesn't need we know that the placenta is a fantastic two-way organ so everything that your baby needs is filtered through the placenta and anything it doesn't need is filtered back through the placenta and given back to you for you to process in your liver and in your kidneys and you can just excrete them you can just let them go So feel that two-way communication between you and your baby, giving and receiving energy, loving each other. And in this moment, I'd like to invite you just to spend a little time there imagining your baby imagining your baby's world. So what your baby may be feeling, the water on its skin, maybe touching its face or its toes, what your baby might be tasting now we know that babies drink amniotic fluid. I wonder what it tastes like. I wonder if it changes depending on what you've eaten. And what's your baby hearing? You know, anything from the outside world that's filtered through that watery environment to your baby. And what might your baby be seeing? You know, we know they can open their, their eyes in late pregnancy. So what would your baby be seeing if it has its eyes open right now? Would it see shapes in the darkness of the placenta and the cord? Might it see a red glow? through the uterus of the, the sun outside, if the sun's shining on you. Hmm. And how might your baby be moving? Or is your baby resting currently? Your baby might be asleep. Just imagine that watery world, feeling totally held, totally safe and totally loved. Mm. And I'd like you to imagine now that you're just coming back out of that watery world. You've had a, a peep into baby's world and you're coming back into your body. You're focusing on your breath. Those nice easy breaths and you might want to make the breath a little deeper just so that you can wake up your body very gradually from this relaxation. Ah. <sighs> 
might want to start to move a little. Move fingers, toes, to have a stretch. Mm. And I'm going to count from five down to one. And when I get to one, you'll be wide awake and feel totally refreshed. So five, feeling the energy coming in to your body with every breath. Four, deepening the breath a bit more. Three, moving your body and maybe stretching. Two, getting ready to open your eyes and one, opening your eyes and wide awake. I hope that was useful and I hope you can treat yourselves as kindly as you treat your children. I want you to look after yourself. I want you to listen to what your needs are today and yeah, do as little as possible yeah, be true to your feelings, honour your feelings. And if you don't feel good, tell people you don't feel good. But hopefully that's helped give you a little bit of a, a break from your busy brain and your busy day. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.